welcome to my channel and thank you for your support and i have good request from the viewers that i need to continue making the videos on capital xe so yes i will try to uh, make the videos as much as possible on the capital xe and we have covered few topics in the past uh, i just want to give you the recap here so before going to the video i just want to have one request if you are liking those videos please comments on the videos at least if i get the 100 comments or at least increase in some subscriber so i will at least will get some sense okay the people are liking they are sharing with other friends and it is reaching to the people who are really getting helped on that so please comment at least whether you are liking and where you uh, don't like please comment on that that it can be better in that way so that i can at least give that particular information i got many requests on the uh, you know wiring harness topics i am very happy and i'm going to create those all the videos so just uh, wait uh, as i will get the time and definitely i'm going to create the, those videos please comment like on this video at least if i get the 100 comments on this video i definitely going to come with the capital xc fourth tutorial on this so before uh, okay uh, without wasting time we will just get the recap of the uh, topics which we have covered in the tutorial second of xc okay let's basic over of different view we have discussed where the engine harness transmission harness body harness ip harness these are the harnesses which we are using in our car then how to create the uh, you know harness in capital xc this was we have discussed then what are type of border and style we use in the capital xc that one is and what is the meaning of this particular thing we have discussed then how to sync so this particular capital logic to capital xc that how your schematics your engine harness or your wire gauge and your uh, uh, wire color okay then connector information connector information wire gauge connector information connector information then circuit information where you are using different wires then harness different harness information which i discussed in the different harness overview information so these all these information how they are linked with the capital xc then we have discussed about how to make this build list build list is nothing but which link with the capital logic to capital xc so this is the list which plays a role to get all this information okay so we got from the last video that we can create the uh, 2d drawing and then we can get the this information like connector information connector information we can get and we can get the table connector table we can get okay and in that connector table we will be having these information now we come to the capital xc where my one connector will be connected to other connector so what i'm giving one simple example so this is my start node okay start node is nothing but this is the bundle and this is my start node this is my end node okay then this is my connector suppose i i am taking four pole connector x102 so 00 this is not this is not a zero this is just i am showing the cavity of this particular connector then i am taking here the same connector but i take here the six pole connector okay so here also i take one Dnum of this y zero three. Okay, this is my bundle. So in this particular bundle, there would be four these all the wires inside this. This is my bundle. Okay, then suppose I take suppose these four wires are connected here, and but there is a one more node. This is I call node. Okay, this is I call node, and the one more connector would be there. So this is how our start node and node and other particular uh, you know harness is connected to this one so four wires might be going directly from here to here but the two wires might be going to here okay so we have seen one particular harness also in the capital xc that how we have this thing so when you have the uh, 
I have shown in previous video the GUI and we have this particular uh, symbol in this GUI like this. Okay. So if you want to create one bundle, so what you have to do, you have to just click on that bundle or space bar in the keyboard and just start node and the end node and it will create the particular bundle. Then you can define the length of that bundle. If suppose the bundle is already created and you want to create one extra length, extra node or extra branch. So you have to just click on this after taking this, selecting this particular command. And once you will click on this, then there would be option will come node position utility. And there you can put your values, how may, much value you want to suppose my main bundle length is 100 mm, right? Then you want to keep it on 75 and 25 then you can put that value in that uh, pop-up which will come as node position utility and then you can fill this information okay so here it, it is becoming clumsy we just move to the next video and those video i am taking from the youtube because uh, see uh, already this particular uh, software i have already told that this is not freely available okay so i am just taking the uh, some of the youtube videos and i am trying to explain and wherever they have missed some process i am just adding that if this particular process is helping you please comment in the comment box so that i can continue making this video otherwise i will stop if you can see directly those videos then there is no make sense of making this video okay but i feel that they have missed something so i am just creating those uh, you know adding those information and making that process simpler and smoother for you to understand better so moving to that video so this is the video i am talking about so I will try to explain here, there are few things which need to be explained today. So the, today I will discuss about the connector cavity management in this particular video where they have shown few things. So this is my connector and this is my bundle. These, these are the splices. So I just put this is my connector. This is my bundle. These are the splices. Okay. And I was talking about this particular thing. Suppose I have made this particular uh, bundle from from here, okay, capital home. Then you want to create this particular node. So what you will do, you will select that particular uh, bundle uh, command and you will just put here. Once you will put here, then there would be a pop-up will come which will ask you about the, uh, which will ask about the position where you want to keep that particular position. So this is how you have to keep. And one more thing I just want to tell you. In this particular 2Ds, uh, in any OEM, you will see the rear. So uh, one, uh, one connector is there. Okay. One connector is there. So there would be two view. One is One would be the front view. Other would be the rear view. Okay. Front view is nothing but from where you are keeping or you are mating your particular connector to the other device. And rear view is the view from the harness side okay so this would be always the harness view side okay this particular view is harness view side let me start with the connector cavity management and before going to the connector cavity management i just want to show you something here you can see there are few options harness symbols part and inside we will discuss about this particular things what are the things in the harness can be contained so one particular harness you will be having bundles nodes so nodes is nothing but we were talking about the nodes or branch takeout, you can say. Then we have the connectors. This, these are my connectors. Then we have the clips. You might be having these clips. Okay. Then assemblies. Then grommets. Grommets here not shown, but they can be shown in the grommets, uh, grommets in the 2D as well. Splices, as you know, the splices, what is the role of splices? Then devices, wires. Wires and bundles, which I have already told you, nothing but that uh, if you see the difference, the wires, the bundles becomes the assembly of the wires. Okay, it would it would contain many wires in in one particular bundle. So suppose I am having one bundle from here to here. It means there would be many wires inside this particular one bundle. Okay, so moving to the this particular uh, video, and I will just explain you that what are the possible things here we can see. Okay. So you can see here, uh, these last time we, I have discussed that how you can make here these branches and uh, you, you can get the connector information here. 
so all these information uh, i have told you last time uh, how to make the capital logic build list and how you can synchronize from the capital logic to capital xc okay so let's move to the uh, other thing which we are going to discuss here uh, in this particular uh, video so if you see this is particular connector we have uh, the information about the connector view and then we have the information of the connector table so this is the information you you will get here and here you can see the uh, the different different colors okay if you see the style set let me just sorry so let me just see so you the style set in style set you can change you know many things in this so this is my style style set and where you can see there are many options in this style set that how you want to keep your cavity connector chart okay where you can see the normal origin and there are attribute owners composite text all these things you have in this then edit cavity chart style so here you want to add something then you can add also so here you can see in this particular uh, video so connector uh, cavity wire table and here i just want to add something uh, the secondary wire number if you see that visible if you want to make one particular thing to be visible and to come in that particular table then you can check in on that so if you see this here the connector cavity table for c4 so there are cavity wire id bom id then color then you know color uh, t and awg or type or csa you can say csa here so these things how you want to take in that particular table uh, that always depends on this particular setting which i have shown you in the style set okay you can make them visible or invisible based on your requirement on this so let's just move on the the other things Uh, let's so you can see here these are our connectors so i will just uh, go on a one one of the connectors and will try to add on this particular connectors so you see c1 c2 c3 c4 these are nothing but the numbers on the uh, connector naming okay you can give like i have shown you like x102 or y102 on this so that is not a problem on this then these are your wires which i have already shown you that these wires where you will see if you see the cursor here so this particular wire is showing the other things see so if you see here that wire is showing that what is the wire number 205 let me give the laser point so if you see here the wire 20502 then material what are the material you have selected then spec then color what is the color and the end one and end two so start end and the uh, other end so this particular wire is going from connector c4 to splice let me start the other uh, other things and we will just discuss so you can see on other wires the different different color and the uh, as you are uh, hovering the mouse then you will you can see the other things so this is also i want to explain so if you see this this thing here uh, here if you see uh, this is my connector which is in line to body rhs and this is your supplier here and this is the supplier part number and here you can see these are the length which is given and splice name that sp2296 this is the splice naming then you just click on a right click then you have this option trace extend delete cavity component management move override styling order edit connector style update associate connector there are so many options on that so suppose if i ask you you have to move this particular connector from this to this side or this side suppose then you can just select on this move and then you can move the particular connector but here now we will see the cavity component manager management so let me just move to this cavity component management so 
I will just click on this cavity component management and you will get this compo cavity component management pop-up. So where you can see the information about the name, values, then cavity, wire combination, material, terminal, seal, plug, and then back cell plug, extra component if any, okay, and then designs, okay. So I have already told you about this terminal seals. If you have not watched my first video where I have given the overview of the particular harness, what are the components in particular harness. However, I have given only the brief. If you want the uh, uh, detailed um, video on the like terminal how to select and then see how, what is this and how we are going to select. Then you just, uh, you know, comment on the video. I will try to make the particular video on the uh, detailed way. Then wire combination, then back cell, then extra component. So extra component, back cell is there, back cell plug is there, then extra component, there might be other extra component is there. Mal means like secondary lock or lever. Okay, so this might be comes under the extra components. Here you can see the back cell orientation, whether you want to keep in top view, front view, rear view, whatever view you want to keep. Then back cell seal part number you have here. Datum default we don't use, then reached we also don't use. Then this will show you the part number, then plug required, yes, and the seal date also, yes. You have to just check in these two. Uh, options here because you need this information and one more example uh, I, I just want to ask you here one question that why this particular uh, table is blank okay so what is the reason because we do not have any information on this particular connector that's why these things are blank but if you are creating with the um, uh, component which is having uh, the library information then this particular information will be automatically filled if you have checked all the plug requirement and sealed it. I will show you this particular thing. Let me just move on to the next. Then if you see this uh, cavity component management and one more thing, suppose you have the uh, some information but still it's not coming, then there is a refresh option here. You can just refresh it also. So as of now, I just uh, put it on cancel. Then we will see the uh, one particular co uh, connector where we have this information and then we will try to edit this information uh, in the next, um, next moment. Automate, then processing. And yes, I have given the processing is nothing uh, what it it is doing processing. So suppose this is my new uh, C1 connector which is I have implemented in the capital logic. So as already I have told you all these things we are not creating in the capital XC. All this information is coming from the capital logic and suppose you have completed your project and in between you have the requirement to add one particular component that is C1. Suppose you have implemented in capital logic. You are not going to implement manually here. You have to implement that particular cap uh, that particular uh, component in capital logic and then you are checking this particular information trying to check here and it is not sync synchronized so in that case what you have to do you have to do the processing then this particular information will come automatically we will see here this particular uh, see here we are doing harness processing just then next then what are the things we are going to include in this calculate wire um, multi core lengths calculate node and bundle sizes calculate insulin insulation okay so whatever point you are selecting here so all the things will come according to this okay so let me do this harness processing uh, complete this harness processing then we will see the harness processing once it will be completed then there would be uh, if there would be no error then uh, the particular thing and one more thing I just want to tell you, when you are doing the harnesses processing, so what Capital XC does, it automatically closes our window and uh, again you have to open that particular. So after processing that particular connector and the harness, you can see that our information would be updated in the particular format and whatever option we have selected, it will come in that format. So here you can see that our wire ID and other things and terminal part numbers, these things are uh, there. Uh, if you see here, uh, uh, the type, terminal, part number, internal and terminal part number supplier. Terminal part number internal is nothing but the OEM ter terminal part number and terminal part number 
of the supplier so generally terminal uh, part number supplier is the major because finally he is going to manufacture that particular harness and this particular part number should be there however the uh, oem also maintain one particular terminal part number that also should be there and this is nothing but terminal mat and then type then wire gauge you can see here awg you can see in square mm also like 1.5 square mm 0.5 square mm and 1 square mm so one time i will tell you how to do the conversion this uh, in one of other video but as of now you just understand this is nothing but the csa so moving forward so now you go to the cavity management and you can see that earlier we were not having these information wire combination is nothing but the wire id or the wire circuit numbers then this is the uh, plating which we are using then this is the terminal number then seal and plug still you see that this is uh, blank so we will see how we can uh, you know bring back these information as well so let uh, move to the uh, this particular here if if i can see so if you see the edit connector information here also you will get the terminal material driver and this information you can update so once we came here in edit connector i just want to tell you few things in this so you can see here uh, the first thing uh, that would be the name of the connector then so description like we i want to give the particular name of that particular connector like inline to body so we have given the inline to body harness but if you want to give some other connector like suppose i want to give this ignition switch okay so that you can change here and that particular name will reflect on your truly drawing then library part generally it should be internal however customer and supplier part number also you can choose so internal library part number as i have shown you in that particular list of the connectors so there are um, two uh, two part number like internal is a oem part numbers and supplier is a sub the part number which is maintained from the supplier side so this is your supplier part number and similarly for customer then this is your the part number and this is the part number which is maintained uh, at the end of oem so from here you can select and you can change on this also that suppose if you want to change some particular part number okay for this uh, uh, connector so here from if you click on that then one pop up will come and from there you can change we will see here uh, this thing then you have the bohm id then color code then color description then assembly datum mostly default you have no need to change anything on this then harness name this is must so always remember this should be there okay if it is not there then your harness would not be linked or synchronized included in bomb so when we will discuss about the bomb bomb is nothing but bill of material so this particular thing whether you want this particular part number or connector into the uh, the part of uh, bomb or not so that's why we check in or uncheck okay if you are checked then it is like a part of bomb uh, if you don't want that particular connector part number to be a part of bomb then you can uncheck it then key ways of uh, uh, orientation then material code so material code is nothing but what type of material is used like pbt or there are many many like polybutene then m card id then number of cavity how many numbers of cavity are there in particular connectors then part description as i told you part revision if you have any part revision like 01 02 03 so that also that information also you can add and plugs are required or not so or definitely if you want plugs are required then you can check it then sealed it then this one also you can check it then primary position object is it is nothing but here the terminal material driver which i have already told you that this you can change here in this type of code connector type of description connector then unit of measure each weight also you can add okay this these two things are useful in the bomb like number of unit of measure and then second is weight how much weight of this connector it is then uh, there is a one team uh, of purchasing uh, and based on the bomb only they used to calculate the uh, price of that particular connector or particular harness okay so let me just remove this one and move further 
so cavity component management again we went to cavity component management and suppose here i just uh, want to tell you suppose you want to change the uh, part number okay so suppose you here it is your terminal part number and you want the different terminal part number for this particular uh, pin okay these are the cavity these are my four cavities okay one two three four this is a four pole uh, suppose i am using the uh, only four uh, pin out of eight pin this is eight pin connector okay you can see here so out of four i am using eight, uh, out of eight i am using only four pins okay and in four pin also the terminal part number whatever coming automatically these part numbers as i told you after the synchronization it reflected here but you want a different part number which is required as per supplier or suppose the library the part number this part number is coming from library right so the library part number is not the updated one but you have the requirement that you have to update this particular terminal part number so you just click on this this and then it there would be a one pop up window so as you can see here so you can see here that select part number this particular pop up window will come and in this particular pop up window you can select the particular part number so here you can see the part number two part numbers are coming which you can use for the cavity one here you can see the factors and material so factor is something which if you have the higher high factor so it is something like you can give the priority that particular terminal part number and here you have the description that which particular part number from which wire csc to which wire csc it can take so my particular one pin i am using the 0.5 square mm of wire okay so you can see from here that this particular cavity is only used for 0.75 to 1 so that's why i cannot use this particular terminal part number but if you have the requirement of pin number 1 to 1 square mm then you can use this particular terminal part number so based on these decision we selection as well in the downside so in non matching wire specification is nothing but that these are the um, uh, wire specification where uh, you can you can use this but these type of terminal numbers also but it is not recommended it is not matching with the but it can give the suggestion that okay these are the matching these are not matching based on your requirement you can choose but i am telling as you uh, as i already told you that most of the time it will be automatically correct part number because of that only we are maintaining the library okay so i hope here you got the uh, what i told you in the edit connector when we where we were having the this particular option where you can change your connector part number as well so this type of pop up also still uh, in that case also will open and where you can select that particular part number okay for this particular part number i am going to use uh, this uh, this particular connector i am going to use this particular part number so this is how you can select the part number wherever you required this is one case of terminal you can choose for plug as well seal so as well so similar way you can use and then you have to put the apply in here you can see once you have changed then you can put the apply so here some uh, you know uh, the requirement about the insulation uh, and you can see here there is a, some back of length is given here it is shown like insulation here on this here this is bundle so those things also i will uh, share with you people that how to give the back of length and how to assign the insulin insulation as well or covering in the schematic okay so here you can uh, see the under the projects we have open new project preferences so in project preferences under capital harness xc you can change the harness engineering in this you have lot of value like add on per junction percentage add on minimum percentage value okay default splice strip length okay so these things from here also you can uh, set your values and what are the things need to be considered here tube selection tolerance tube selection order properties excluded from bundle merger property check property that block the bundle so if you know the basic things about back off length or add on length then these things you are very easy uh, to do okay but if you don't know these things then it would be a uh, you know difficult to understand how these things can be understood and how these things can be this edit connector and this is what i was telling you that how to 
you know edit the edit uh, connector part number if you want so we will see here one time so here you can see that if i click on this then this particular uh, part number and details will come here base extra symbol customer supplier housing scope there are so many you know attributes on this you can change based on your requirement and your uh, you know uh, required uh, as per your required uh, requirement so if you see here the group name connector revision there is no revision description you can put that what type of connector is this or oh, right the eight ways connector 1.5 to 2.2 point then a uh, unsealed connector what is the key okay what is the you know coding of that particular connector type code then color code what is the then material code you can see then status unit of measure we have seen then add on and knock off so this is the length which i was talking here if you see here in this particular connector so here you have this connector and after that there is a insulation and after that there is a some bundle length which has been given so this is add on or knock off uh, uh, length um, which we can decide from here number of cavity we can see here knock off length okay so we why we give this add on length and knock off length as you know that uh, we can not give the insulation till the end of the connector mating we need to have some uh, you know length we, we need to have some wire which easily can be mated so that's why we give this add on length and knock off length so that's all uh, for today's uh, lecture so in next we will see the how to give the insulation on the harness Uh, but the only thing is that if you find it it is uh, relevant for you and it is helping you you please comment in the comment box and what are the things you did not get and what are the things you required more you please comment in the comment box then i will come again with a new video and as i told you the target for this particular video we keep 100 if 100 comments and 100 likes will come then definitely i am going to come with the next video so thank you everyone thank you for your support